Now, talking about data, data is a big deal in Nigeria, and more businesses are exploring the benefits of data analytics in their day-to-day -day operations. Kazim Tawagwadi has uh, been an expert data architect for over 20 years in the information technology industry, helping clients with IT strategies, corporate strategy objectives across department, divisions, and loco locations. So welcome to the show, Kazim. I mean, let's, let's, let's quickly go to importance of data and the interpretation of data with things like AI in this economy where we are? I mean, has it been deploying data to solve basic business solutions? Okay, thank you very much. Thank, okay, thank you for, you know, for having me. Um, like you rightly said, uh, data is becoming something very, very important. And I think a lot of people are talking about it. Uh, but it's always been very, very important. And um, most of the um, companies that are at the edge of you know, competition um, in different markets, in different industries, they've tapped into this um, data for a very long time. And, you know, and with that, they've got a lot of maturity and you know, they keep on getting better and better and better. So basically, um, data, um, anything we do, if we transact business, if we do any transaction, if we you know, make a phone call, if we go to our banking, if you, if you do charts or anything, that's, da that's data. You're generating data. So the key thing then is how do we collect this data? How do we analyze this data? How do we process the data in a way that we can gain value from it? And even, even after getting value, how do you actually transform the value from one point to the other? At the end of the day, you know, you know, reflecting your bottom line, this is your profitability. What are the tools you know, in analyzing this data? There are so many tools. Mm -hmm. uh, there are so many tools, there are so many practices. Um, there are a lot of OEMs um, that, you know, th that churn out different tools. Some are even open source. You can get it without even paying anything, you know. Uh, but the basic thing is that beyond the tools, what are the practices, all right? What are the processes? What are the governance structures or processes that you've installed to ensure that you can harness your data? Because it's, it, by the time you collect so much data, you know, if you don't know how to, you know, handle it well, it can lead to chaos. Mm -hmm. So basically, um, you know, um, there are tools out there um, as... Examples? Examples of those tools? Mm -hmm. Oh. Some examples, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so people know what, what they look out for. Somebody might be looking, watching this and morning. wants to just, okay, let me check. Okay, what, what? Okay, see, okay. Now, in the whole gamut of, you know, of, of, of data processing or, 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 or AI, there are a lot of different tools. There are different, you know, uh, uh, um, what I would call, you know, verticals, even within it. There is, there, there are there some tools, tools like uh, dynam uh, CRM tools, like Microsoft Dynamics? Yes. You know, what are yeah. they? I mean, just name them so that people can okay. have an array right. of them. For you to collect data, mm -hmm. all right, there are tools like uh, Microsoft Solutions, there, yeah. are, there are Oracle Solutions, yeah. like, you know, for you to collect data. To transform data, there are also some databases like, you know, you know Microsoft, Oracle, and, and the likes. And you've got, you know, for you to view, mm. right, to view the outcomes, the dashboard and reports, then you talk about, you know, Power BI, OBI, Tableau, Click, click and a lot of, you know, solutions out there. And these days that we are actually, you know, having to, you know, process different categories of data at very high speed. Then we're not having to um, have um, big data solutions sitting on Hadoop, on Spark, yeah. on Hive, on different you know technologies that you have some sometimes bring them to talk to one another yeah. to you know to deliver the objective of the business. Okay, so let's talk data protection for a bit. It's really in how it relates to businesses. Now, towards the end of last year, NDPR had asked for companies to submit a data protection audit. Now, my question to you is um, from the end of the business operator. Now, we know that because of, you know, the lack in the gaps in technology as they exist in Nigeria today, it might take about, you know, two, three, four, five years to be able to put all that information together. Yes. However, the NDPR has re requires businesses to submit an audit every year. Now, my question to you is how realistic is that? Is there, are there things that could be introduced to make, to bring, to make that time shorter and make it easier for the businesses to you know, remain protected? Okay, thank you. Um, regulators, basically, in, you know, everywhere in the world, they, they give some timelines. Mm. Okay, you can, let's start. This is the whole framework. Um, I'm going to give you some period of grace. Then we begin to sort of like ramp it up, you know, in, you know, you know, you know later on. 
I think that's what um, um, NDPR is trying to Yeah, do. that's what uh, uh, what was the the guys um, Nista? Nista, exactly. Nista. Sorry. So so so, so, so that what the, the, the Nida guys are, are doing. It's very effective. I, I you know, it, it it was very welcome when I heard that. Yes, we are beginning to, to localize regulations around how to protect data, customer data, and other data that are quite sensitive. How you protect in such a way that you know. Um, people don't, you know, abuse, uh, you know, private data for their own selfish, you know, in, you know goals. You see, the, the challenge with data now is, is, is the dichotomy between on-premise and cloud. Mm. Uh, so a lot of people are on-premise currently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what has been the migratory process to cloud? What's the percentage of cloud on-premise you use? What's the disposition of on-premise or cloud? I mean, just talk through that line. Okay. Um, the, the, I think it's, cloud is growing. Cloud adoption is growing, and it will continue to grow. In fact, a lot of data analytics projects are actually now happening, you know, on you know, you know, in the cloud. Well, I'm sure the NDPR also will talk about what are the things that you can you know store in country, what are the things that you can store you know outside of the country. Mm -hmm. But you know, the, I see that the, 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 the NIDA guys are quite progressive. Is there a percentage for the client you've worked with you know, cloud vis a vis premise data storage? Well, I don't have a, you know, like, like, like a firm stats to okay. that, mm -hmm. but what I can tell you, you know, as a trend, it's growing. Okay. A, a lot of companies, even some governments, you know, agencies, we have big businesses that are even, you know, getting some approvals from NIDA to go cloud. All right. Yeah. So it's 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 happening, and I'm sure in the next five years, you don't probably don't have any sound business case to have to, to you know to to, to have an on-premise mm. you know you know solution. You know, looking at uh, staying active in you know in this you know space of data collection. Mm -hmm. Now, it, you know, an organization like NITSDA has come out to say you know we're going to regularly publish reports. Uh, the state of data protection mm -hmm. uh, within the country, highlighting emerging threats and so on and so forth. However, there's still that uh, disparity in being able to interpret data analytics for for the layman and you know for the you know owners of SMEs yeah, and yeah, yeah. MSMEs. Is how how do we bridge that gap? Well, see, um, I think everybody just must um, gain more knowledge. Okay. Um, because as if you're running an SME business or even whatever size you know you know of business that you are running, it's, it's it's imperative that you are actively wanting to discover patterns in your data, mm -hmm. okay? Because you need to stay very very competitive, all right? Mm -hmm. You need to you need, you need to discover things ahead of your of your competitors. Mm -hmm. yeah. I need to act on them, you know, smartly. Uh, you need to create a nimble process that can enable you to analyze all this information. So it's, there's a business value, mm. even for you. You probably don't even need anybody to come and tell you <laughs> that yet. Yeah. Because you know that, yes, if I do all these things well, I, I probably will maintain my competitive advantage or gain, you know, or gain new ones. Advantage. Exactly. Yes, definitely. Mm. I agree. All right. We'd well, like to say a very big thank you okay. for coming to talk to us about this. And I'm sure a lot of businesses are watching this and, and as they start to make their plans for the year. Yeah. Maybe they'll definitely look at data, uh, cloud, and... Uh, mm. Uh, go away from premise. All right, that brings us to the end of the show today. I'm Rafa Yosini. And I'm Sheito Atigari. Thank you so much for watching. You can also follow us on all the social media handles showing now on the screen. This is Arise News.